Hey everybody, here I am with the DJI uh, Pocket 3 Osmo and uh, I'm going to show you how it looks. So I haven't adjusted any of the settings. This is just straight out of the box, downloaded the application and um, straight to shooting. So let's see how it does in this kind of environment. What's really cool about this is I can rotate the head without moving my hand. So I will just uh, show you how it looks from behind. So just film the camera right now, please. So, now the head is rotating, but I'm just keeping my hand still. Also, I can look down and up as well. So it's really cool. I can recenter it on myself or recenter it facing forward. And if I do make a small adjustment, I can double click and it just recenters to go straight. It does have a gimbal, so the footage should be smooth. Uh, again, I haven't done anything with the colors or the resolution. This is just straight out of the box. It says it's filming in 1080p. Um, and then in the future, I'm going to change it to 4K. Also, I'm wearing the DJ mic right now. The mic 3 on my bag. And you can connect this mic to the actual Pocket 3 with Bluetooth. Uh, but I'm not doing that right now. I decided just to film, uh, just to record independently on the Pocket 3 so I can, uh, so we can hear how the quality of the mic on the actual device is. And then I will, like right now, change to the, um, the Mic 3, the Mic 2 I think it is, which is on my bag. So we can hear the difference. Um, and I think it is kind of cooler to record on the mic independently because then you just have more footage to play around with. Excuse me. Yeah, so I think if you're recording um, using the DJI, DJI, sorry, Pocket 3 microphone and this independently without it being linked, I think it's better not to link it because now I have two audio files to play with. So maybe if the audio quality is better here, I'll overlay that on the footage. If it's better on the actual DJI Pocket 3, then I'll use that audio. So it's kind of cool to use both of them. So I'm gonna look up with the actual gimbal. I'm not even moving the camera, just moving around the gimbal with my thumb. You can look around me. And now I want to look forward again, I'll just double click and it'll center it. And it looks like a little robot. It also has face tracking. So let me put that on. It's detecting my face. Now it has my face. So I'll show you how this is moving from the other camera's perspective. It's following me. But I'm keeping the camera, you know, faced the same way. So that's pretty cool. And it does a very good job of face tracking. Like a little robot, always watching. Let's exit face mode. And yeah, the camera is really cute. It's really light. And uh, let's show. I have attached this um, extender so that I can put on this tripod, which screws in. And it can open up. And then we can put it down. So yeah, it's really cute, really nice. Also, there is a extra battery pack with this combo that we bought, create a combo. But we don't have that attached right now, but if your thing is running out of juice, you just attach uh, the extra battery. Uh, this also gives it a nice handle to hold on to while you're filming, because I think without this, it's a little bit small. So if I take this out, it is a bit small and you risk uh, not being able to have good audio because maybe your hand is kind of blocking the audio mic holes. So. So yeah, so I think it's really nifty. It looks really cool. I can see myself on the screen. And even the quality on that little screen is really, really good. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna put this back because it really does give a lot more mobility. And let's go for a little walk. I'll show you Krakow, Poland. Yeah, they're doing a photo shoot. I'm using the gimbal to actually film them right now. Well, I'm walking straight. The camera's head is looking right. 
Here's some more photographers. All right, so right now I'm gonna stop this recording and I'm gonna uh, resume in 4K. All right, so right now it should be in 4K. So it should be a little bit better. Previously it was 1080p, which was the default the camera uh, starts with. So this should be a lot better, more crispy. And you can actually also film in portrait mode. So if I rotate the screen, I can film in portrait mode, but that will be limited to 3K, not 4K. But I have a feeling that even just 1080p is gonna look really crispy. And again about the sound, uh, right now I'll put the sound from um, the DJ, DJI mic. Is it two or three? I think it's two or three. Well, the latest mic that they have as of now. Uh, so you'll hear the audio from my mic again. And then right now I will change it back to the Osmo Pocket 3. So again, I do think it's cooler to record independently on the mic so that you actually have two audio files, not just relying on one. Because maybe this camera will actually sound pretty decent, even though it's a little windy today. It's a lot of fun to play with this little gimbal. So far I really like it, it's really cool. It's very light and my hand is not getting too tired. It's lighter than the GoPro Hero 10 with um, a selfie stick. And it could be even lighter if I took off the attachments. So let's look at the zoom in function. So that's the max, I can zoom in. Let's see the zoom out. That's the max you can zoom out, so... Cool. Alrighty, I hope you did enjoy this little video. Maybe it uh, taught you something about this little camera. It's not a very in-depth review, but uh, whatever. I think it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. I'm having a lot of fun with it already. This is the first day we're shooting with it, and it feels very like intuitive, very easy to use. Uh, this touchscreen is better than the GoPro, the Hero 10, from my perspective. It's more sensitive and responsive. Uh, camera is light. We're gonna see the audio. And the quality, quality on the screen here in front of me looks really good. Uh, so yeah, see you next time.